Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today is a sad day in the world of BlackBerry. Uh, it was announced today by TCL and BlackBerry Mobile. They put out a tweet on Twitter saying that as of August 31st, 2020, they will no longer have the license to make, sell, produce, or design Blackberries. So that effectively means that moving forward, any hopes we had for a key three, probably getting an update to the operating system are all gone. Uh, so that leaves us kind of in a world where there's a lot of uncertainty when it comes to what's going to happen with BlackBerry. I mean, BlackBerry license, uh, the, gave the license to TCL to make the devices under the BlackBerry mobile name back in 2016. And we got four devices out of it. We got the key one, we got the motion, the key two and the key two LE. I don't know what happened behind the scenes. I don't know if it was a it didn't go as well as they thought. I don't know if it's because TCL is putting such an emphasis and a focus on their own devices now, or if maybe there was something going on between BlackBerry and TCL and things just weren't working out. But one way or the other, we find ourselves in a world once again where we have uncertainty when it comes to our favorite iconic brand. We went through this after BlackBerry 10 died, and we went with this whenever we waited to see if TCL was going to pick up this license. So it's just one of those things where we kind of have to wait and see, I guess, because we don't know what tomorrow holds. Now, hopefully tomorrow will hold a new BlackBerry for us one day. Hopefully some new information will come out. I don't know. But at the end of the day, what I can say is, is that your current BlackBerry device is still okay. This doesn't mean you need to go throw it in the trash. This doesn't mean, doesn't mean you need to go down to the carrier and pick up a new device. It doesn't mean you need to start finding a way to sell yours online. If you enjoy your BlackBerry, if you're happy with it and you like using it, you can still use it. It's still got Android 8.1. Of course, it doesn't have Android 9 or 10, but it doesn't need that. It always had its secure, stable operating system, which is one of the reasons why it was slower to get updates. And then two, you also have the custom user interface. You have the hub and all the other proprietary stuff that they put in there that made it special. You know, other than just the keyboard and of course the integrations to make sure those worked. Now, I've been using BlackBerry for a long time. I got my first BlackBerry back in 2005. I've been using them for forever. I and mean, even right here, I still have three devices. I have my BlackBerry Z10. For those of you who recognize this device, I got this when T-Mobile launched it a long time ago. Uh, I just recently got the BlackBerry Crib, which is also a fantastic device. This is the OG BlackBerry Android. A lot of cool things going on here. I actually bought this so I could make some more content because Really and truly, I didn't see this announcement coming today, but this was already outdated anyway. I just love BlackBerry. And then of course I have my key two. If you follow me or my channel or my post, you know that I love this phone and I'm constantly putting my SIM card in it and I'm still using it, even though I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max and I've got a Note 10 Plus as well. There's just something about the keyboard. Every time I get away from it, I miss it. I have to use it. So I'll plug my SIM card in, I'll use it for a week and then I usually put it back on the shelf and use something else for a little while. And not because of personal choice, but I do a lot of reviewing. I need a really good video camera. I need to be able to take good pictures. That's just not something that the Key2 brought to the table. But the Key2 is still a very viable phone in 2020. It has a Snapdragon 660, 6 gigabytes of RAM. It's got two cameras on it, all the bells and whistles for a BlackBerry and this wonderful keyboard. So you can still use it. You can still use it really well. It's just that... The problem we have moving forward is the uncertainty that surrounds the brand because now we don't know if there's going to be a next one and if there is going to be a next one, who it's going to come from. I don't really expect BlackBerry to start making them again. They've been saying for the last couple of years, we're not a phone company, we're not a phone company, we're a services and software company. It would be a massive step back, step back and I wouldn't, I would feel irresponsible misleading anyone into thinking that that would happen again. Now, I did see some rumor stuff. Of course, John Chen commented it would be great to make another one. I don't really think that that was a cryptic text as to, you know, we'll expect a, a BlackBerry announcement that they're going to start making them again. But, hey, it's still theirs. They still own it. So, you know, theoretically it's possible, but it's probably one of those like one in a million chance things. So I wouldn't really, you know, take that one to the bank. You know, they could even renew the license with TCL, but... The way that I read it, it really seemed more like a breakup than an expiration of a license. Um, it seems like they would say, hey, you know, at some point in time that it is expiring or whatever, but they just flat out and said, 
TCL no longer has the rights. They can't design them. They can't sell new ones. And they can still sell the ones they have in current inventory, but, but not the new, new one. They can't make new ones. So let me read this. We do regret to share, however, that as of August 31st, 2020, TCL Communication will no longer be selling BlackBerry branded mobile devices. TCL Communication has no further rights to design, manufacture, or sell any new BlackBerry mobile devices. However, TCL Communication will still continue to provide support for the existing portfolio of mobile devices, including consumer service and warranty service until August 31st of 2022. So that means we've got two and a half years left of service and support from TCL for the current lineup of phones that's in the BlackBerry mobile portfolio. So if you have a BlackBerry Key 1, if you have a Motion, if you have a Key 2 or a Key 2 LE, you'll still be able to get support for another two years. So that means if you enjoy your BlackBerry, you can still continue to use it. You can still rely on the fact that they're there for support, at least for the physical side of the house, if something happens to it, warranty repair, whatever. And yeah, it's just that beyond August 31st and you know, August 31st is a, it, it, it's just kind of a, a placeholder at this point. You know, it's not like they're going to design something that's going to come out in the next month and they'll be able to sell it. And then, Oh, August 31st, they're going to shut the doors. That statement today effectively says this partnership is over. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it, yeah, they say August 31st. So that basically gives them till August 31st to go ahead and clear out the, clear out the inventory shelves and sell the building and shut the doors and put the locks on them for BlackBerry mold because it's effectively done, at least under the, the TCL name. So you can still use this. It's still going to work perfectly fine. I still know people that use BlackBerry 10. I still enjoy BlackBerry 10. I still fire it up every once in a while just to take a look at it. Uh, really, it's pretty much dead in the water at this point. You can still use it in a limited capacity. Some people like to use it for email, text message, things like that. But as far as like the internet and things, you can still sideload some stuff. It still supports the Android 4.4 runtime, but I, I'm sure that still has a, I'm sure that has a shelf life on it at this point. Android 8.1, a lot of devices are just now really getting on board with Android 9. A few of them are on board with Android 10. So if we're talking about support for these things for two more years, these won't officially be dead in the water support wise until Android 12 comes out. So I'm fairly certain and confident that 8.1 will still work for you. You should have no issues with it. There's, it's a perfectly good phone. The limiting factor is going to be the physical hardware itself and whether you want to continue using it because by the time 2021 rolls around, 2022 rolls around, it's probably going to be a bit dated. Now, this is only a year and a half old now. Blackberries are not gaming devices. They're not powerhouse devices. They're multitasking devices. It's got the convenience key. It's got the speed key. It does everything that you need it to do and it does it well. And the battery still lasts, you know, all day. So I still think this is a viable platform if you want to continue using it. And I'm just really trying to shore up some of the concern because myself, like I said, I've been using BlackBerry for 15 years. I hope that something will come around. I don't really expect anything at this point. Uh, what I do expect sometime in the future is a statement from BlackBerry themselves. It's an iconic brand. I mean, it's been around for forever. In 2009, they had 20% of the smart, smartphone market share. So I don't really think that they would just let the brand die off without saying something. This is really just BlackBerry Mobile and TCL saying, look, this is this is gone. And you know, that's who the tweet was from today. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it's just a waiting game. But you know, if anyone can you know, weather the storm of the waiting game when it comes to BlackBerrys, it's BlackBerry fans. We, we've done this before. There were question marks whenever we had to wait for BlackBerry 10 to come out because iPhone was just killing it. Then there was the whole BlackBerry 10 dying. They tried to sell BlackBerry to somebody. Nobody wanted to buy it. They took it off the market. Then we had to wait and see if new devices were going to come out. And then they decided they were going to make an Android. Then they decided they were going to license it and weren't going to make their own anymore. So we've been through a lot over the years and I'm sure we'll get through this as well. It's just a matter of seeing what happens. You know, there have been brand revivals before, but really there's just a small part of the market that has an interest in keyboards anymore. And pretty much everyone's phones, you know, I guess they're as secure as they're going to get. So I don't really think a lot of people are really that concerned as much as they used to be with the end-to-end -end security, with the security solutions that BlackBerry had to offer. And BBM, BlackBerry Messenger, is pretty much, you know, it's dead anyway. So we'll see what happens moving forward. I'm hopeful. I'll cross my fingers. 
and we'll see what happens in the future. But that's kind of where we're at right now. So if you like your BlackBerry now, you don't need to dump it. It's going to work fine. And we'll just wait and see what happens. So continue to enjoy your BlackBerry. Pay attention to the news. Keep your eyes open. And I'm still going to make content. Like I said, I just bought this BlackBerry Priv the other day. Awesome little device. And I'm going to have some fun with it. I will make a video. And I may even make a video that highlights all three of them. Because, you know, we still love BlackBerry. So that's all I've got. Um, sorry for the bad news today. You know, it's sucky for all of us who appreciate and enjoy the BlackBerry line of devices. So let's we'll wait and see what happens. And that's all I got. So if you got any questions or comments, you want to have a conversation, I always love talking about BlackBerry. Sound off in the comments. Thanks for stopping by. This is really kind of a no frills, just kind of state of the union chat thing, just to offer my own two cents on what's going on with BlackBerry right now. But we'll see. So that's all I got, guys. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see you next time.